Hello everyone, this is Curtis for We Wacker Line Care. Hey, uh, I made it back to Texas, guys, and uh, I don't know, I've just been feeling really bad. I guess it's something in the air or whatever, and uh, just had me down, just had me down. But anyway, I had uh, been resting, and hopefully, you know, if I feel a little better, but not all that good. But, um, anyway, I, I got this text, and then I got this phone call from this, from this, this customer and wanted me to come out and uh, attend to their lung, and I was like, you know, I texted him back, and uh, I told him, you know, I had been sick and all and everything, and they was like, well, I really need you to come out, and uh, I was like, huh? I said, well, okay. I feel a little better. I'll, I'll come out and I'll try to uh, help you with your lawn care. And um, I said, well, I was thinking to myself, I said, okay, I'll do this. So meanwhile, that's what I'm doing, guys. I'm out and uh, I came to uh, attend to this lawn. So let's take a look at it. This here is the one I'm talking about, this one right here. See, you got it has some weeds. A lot of weeds there started popping up. You can see right over there and all around. So I'm gonna see if I can get this here out cleaned up for them. And uh, let me see. Look, let's, let's take a look at the back. See what the back looks like. A lot of weeds growing. It's that time of year, so a lot of this stuff is gonna start getting thick yeah see right here it's a lot of uh, weeds you can see yeah there's a lot of weeds so uh, well, I'm gonna see what I can do with all of these weeds here Put some weeding feed on it. Yeah, so uh, that's what I'm here to do today. Let's see if I can clean this up for him. Uh, it'll take a little time to do it. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. Try to help him out here. So I got my, uh, I got my. Uh, Brian will be more here with me. You can see right here. I got that, and uh, I got the uh, the uh, my, my my shredder for the uh, fertilizer right right here. You can see for the turf builder. Put some of that out. The weed and feed kills kills uh, the dollar weeds, clover, and feeds. grass and all so let me put some of that out for the customer and all and uh, just trying to uh, yeah. get a look good for them like clean it up help them out here so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, today on this here yeah, I still, like I say, I ain't feeling all that well, so I'm still, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm just pushing myself, forcing myself to do this. I, I said, well, I, 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 I don't know, you know, I don't mind helping people, but uh, it's just one of these things, I don't know. Try to help them much. Really, really ready to go back home right now. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to do this and uh, see if I can make them. Because I ain't just feeling all that good. I don't know what it is. I don't know if like it's just uh, I don't know some in the air, pollution or something other. But when I got back, had some neighbors that well they have been sick in the hospital one 
think he, he told me he had, uh, he had blood poisoning or something other, and, uh, he had to, uh, had, well, they had to do a major operation on him. They had to cut him, you know, from here down in there and part to whatever. I was like, oh, my goodness. And um, he, said, yeah. he, said, he said, well, man, he said, I haven't seen you. I said, well, I thought you were out of town. He said, no, nah, he was in the hospital. And that happened right before, um, right before Christmas. Matter of fact, another neighbor. He said his blood pressure went up and it was 200 over 90, something like that. And I was like, man, he finna stroke out or have a heart attack or something. And you know, he was like, yeah, he went in. And so he had just got out and I seen him. I was like, oh, wow, I don't know what's going on back this way, guys. But yeah. But now I'm, I'm, I don't know what it is. I just sign us or it's just, I don't know, I've just been feeling It's just a weird feeling. I don't know what it is. But hopefully I'm going to work through this. I'm going to see if I can get this line here taken care of and try to make it look good for the customer and kind of let them know. I don't know. I don't feel like doing this. But I'm going to push myself and see if I can get it done. We'll take a look at it after I get through with it. All right, guys. Stay tuned here. Okay, guys. I got... uh. I got everything edged up, got it all mowed off, and uh, now I'm finna put this uh, this uh, weed and feed, Scott weed and feed uh, on it. So let me give you a quick view of the way everything looked uh, after using the uh, Ryobi electric mower and the trimmer and all that. Uh, I'm up here sweating. I guess it was, I guess by working it kind of sweat, you know, sweat or whatever it is that's in me, been bothering me, kind of will sweat it out of me. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Okay, as you can see, this here is the way the lawn turned out. And uh, I got the uh, front all taken care of and the back. So once I get through putting out the weeding feed, then I'm gonna take and blow this here off. Normally I wait to last to blow everything off so if some of the weed feed gets on the concrete and all, I'll just uh, blow that back in there and uh, it will, uh, you know, do its job for us getting rid of all of these weeds and all. So I uh, just want to give you all a quick view of the way everything turned out. So I'm going I'm to I'm uh, open this bag up and see if I can uh, get that in there and get this in the front and the back so uh just give me a minute here Oh boy, okay, gotta wing this one.
Alright guys, I was able to uh, get this lawn all taken care of. I got everything all blown off. I got the uh, weed and feed all uh, put out in the lawn and all. And uh, I used, as, as I said earlier, I used my uh, Ryobi mower and trimmer. And I used this here uh, little blower right here. The uh, yeah, the snap fresh little blower. I done it all with uh, you know electric by battery. Uh, I think I could pull it off, guys. I think I could really pull it off doing doing all lawns with electric equipment. I think uh, I could definitely get away with it. I think it would be well. I know it would be very feasible because. I wouldn't have to buy no gas, I wouldn't have to buy no uh, no oil, no oil mix, uh, no filters, uh, let's see, that's it, it's just, only thing I'd have to worry about is how long the battery would uh, last. Now, you need to have, uh, like on this lawn here, uh, well, I had to have with a trimmer I needed two batteries on that so you just never know what kind of uh, turf you're gonna run into where it's overgrown and may need a little extra trimming so I would have to uh, you know have two to three batteries for that and then I would have to map out a route for uh, how many lines I could take care of uh, using a battery equipment but I think I could pull it off. I could put it off. Well, I think if I had one of those, uh, well, one of those Fords that have the, uh, what's that? Uh, well, they had like the, you know, the generator built in where you could plug it up and uh, you could charge your batteries and all. You could plug it in there and then while you're mowing and your battery uh, goes down, then you just plug it over into that into the uh, you know the thing in the bed back in the bed the generator so you could uh, charge it back up I think that, I think I could pull it off <laughs> I think it would really work put one of your battery charger lay it on the bed have a cover over it so that uh, it could keep charging keep it cool and all and uh, yeah I could finish out the day with that but I had to buy like about I don't know about uh, X amount of batteries I could pull a full day but anyway guys uh, I'm feeling some better I ain't saying I'm feeling all that great but uh, I managed to get this one here all taken care of so uh, you know I came on out and helped this customer uh, with the lawn and they've been uh, texting me and leaving messages on my voicemail uh, to uh, come out and do the line, so I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. So when I come back, coming back to Texas, I was like, man, why did I come back to Texas? I should have stayed in Illinois with my wife. <laughs> I think I go back. I think I'm gonna go back. <laughs> I'm going back to Illinois. <laughs> anyway, guys, stay tuned. Uh, I'll be doing something else here soon. All right. Bye for now.